What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to our player ratings here on Anfield Agenda. After Liverpool have beaten Steve Cooper's Nottingham Forest by three goals to nil. It was nearly four at the end but Cody Gakpo's strike was correctly ruled out for offside. So if you've never joined us before this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go through the players and the substitutes and the manager giving them a score out of 10 asking you guys to let us know your thoughts if you agree or disagree in the comment section. Do please drop a like on the video if you enjoy it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button let's start off as we always do the man between the sticks mr allison becker actually before we even go into that let me just once again reaffirm our hope and our best wishes on all of our love being sent to the diaz family i'm sure at this point you guys are aware what happened over in colombia we await and hope for the safe return of Luis diaz father and of course when we have any updates on that we will of course let you guys know so let's get to the scores today then allison becker the man between the sticks he didn't have much to do, but he did it well, and he was part of a team that kept a clean sheet. So, even though it was a quiet afternoon for him, we're going to give the big man a score of 7 out of 10. Moving to our vice captain now, Mr. Trent Alexander-Arnold. I think he's growing into this role, uh, this dual role that he has at right back, and I'm going to call it the quarterback position. You can call it a second number six, but I think the quarterback position suits him better. His range of passing is immense. His, you can see him growing and maturing into a man as well. His physical stature out there. Brilliant from Trent. And more of this, please. I think it was a stroke of genius from Jurgen Klopp, Pep Linders and the coaching team to make him vice-captain. So with that in mind, we're going to give Mr. Trent Alexander-Arnold a score of 8 out of 10. Of course, we hope you agree. But if you don't, you know what to do. Moving on now to Mr. Ibrahim Kanate, who got lots of love in the Anfield Agenda live chat for a very good defensive performance. Himself and Verge dealt with everything that was put at them today. Good aerially, good uh, recovery pace as well, good covering for Trent when he was dropping inside. So, Mr. Ibrahim Kanate gets a score of 8 out of 10. Clean sheets don't go unnoticed here at Anfield Agenda. We move on to the captain, Virgil van Dijk. Dare we say, dare we say we're seeing prime Virg here for the last while? You know what? I'm happy for it because I'm happy to see him playing with a smile on his face. I'm happy to see him with a captain's arm. But most importantly, I'm happy that we're seeing the Virgil van Dijk that we all know was there. Today, he was imperious. Aerially, he was very good. He was mopping up everything at the back. He was leading. And I like the huddle at the start. I like that he's introduced that as well. So for that alone and for the clean sheet, of course, we're going to give Mr. Mr. Virgil van Dijk a big juicy score of 9 out of 10. Now we come across to this gentleman, Costas Simicus, the Greek scouser. I'm still not convinced. I can't lie. Look, he was part of a team that kept a clean sheet, but I'm not convinced with him out there. Um, I just am not and, and I don't know if anything is going to change my mind on it. He is an able deputy to have. He's good to have in there from Robbo's not out, but I wouldn't feel comfortable if we were to play an entire league campaign, as an example, would cost this as our first choice left back. But he was part of a team that kept a clean sheet today. We're going to give Costas a score of six. You might think that's a little bit harsh. And again, feel free to let us know in the comments if you do. Moving on to Alexis McAllister. I don't remember a Liverpool player dividing opinions so much. And it's not because we don't rate Alexis McAllister. It's because many people are very confused that we see him consistently being played in the number six position. I think today... Is probably, dare I say, the best performance we've seen from Alexis in the number six. I thought he was press resistant at times. It's very difficult when we're playing F in the back and Alexis receives the ball with his back to the opposition goal and has to play around the press. He's done it very well today. And with that in mind, we think he's very deserving of a score of 8 out of 10. Ryan Gravenberg, and here's the thing. Some of you guys were doubting us when we signed him. I mean, hang your heads in shame. I mean, what type of... Okay, it was me. It was me, and I was very wrong, and I'm very happy to be wrong. Mr. Gravenberg is just gold, gravy, whatever you want to call him. He's top-notch, and he glides across the pitch, and he's getting better and better and better. And Jurgen is going to have some very, very big headaches of selection when Curtis is back now as well. You've got McAllister, Sobosloy, Curtis... Um, you've got Dom, it, or excuse me, Ryan, it's it's difficult. But you know what? I'd rather have these headaches than not have them. I thought he was very good again today. Uh, he is fast becoming undroppable in this Liverpool team. And Bayern Munich, dare I say it, are starting to look a little bit foolish for letting Ryan go. So today we've given him a score of 7 out of 10. I don't think it was his best performance for Liverpool so far, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a fine performance. Dominic Sobosly, look at him looking all sexy and granite. Look at him. 
can we take a minute to just appreciate the handsome factor here from Don? As a, as a fellow Adonis, I know what it's like with this cross that he has to bear for those ravishing good looks. Dominic Soboslai today, again, I didn't believe it when Connor said to me that that was his first league assist. And like a bus, one comes along and another comes along afterwards. He's top notch. He's brilliant. He's 23. He is, dare I say it, a future leader of this midfield. And... Somebody who was going to get better and better and better with time, with age, with confidence, with experience, and of course with the coaching of Jurgen Klopp. So today, we give Mr. Dominic Sobosloy, who was your Anfield agenda man of the match, with a huge 73% of the vote, we give him a score of 9 out of 10. Imperious from Dom today. Mohamed Salah, the great man, another record today for Mo. I believe, and I'm still hoping to be corrected on this, I believe Mohamed Salah is now the first Liverpool player to score in the first five consecutive league games at home, which is just another stat to add to the collection. During the week, he broke Thierry Henry's record for the highest Premier League goal scorer in Europe with 43 goals, and today he added uh, another goal to, to his tally of goals for the club, and he took it really well. It was a long ball forward from Sobosloy. I don't know what the keeper was doing. Keeper came out to no man's land, bounced over him. Salah still had a lot to do, but he calmly passed it in with his right foot to get the goal. Mo today gets a score from us of 8 out of 10. Let us know if you agree or if you disagree. Diogo Jota, the assassin, the ninja, and the many other things we could probably call him. Every time this dude gets the ball in the penalty area, you know what's happening. He is just money, he is gold, he is whatever phrase you want to use. And today, he took his goal very well again. So, Diogo Jota was in the right place at the right time. It was a strike from Darwin Nunes that was parried by the Forest keeper. And who was there to turn a home? Mr. Diogo Jota. Dare we say there could be a race for the for the top leading goal scorer at Liverpool with Diogo in it? What are we saying? Let us know in the comments. Score-wise, we have given him a score of 7 out of 10. Let us know if you think that is fair or if you disagree. Moving on to this gentleman here, and I feel like we're just ratcheting up the handsome factor as we go along. Darwin Nunes has had a great start to this Premier League campaign. Jurgen has been singing his praises. You guys have been singing his praises. I've been singing his praises, and rightly so. Today, he got himself a goal, and uh, again, it was right time, right place. Dominic Sobosloy with the assist. Darwin scores, and when Darwin scores, we're all happy. Very strange to see him replaced by Endo later on, but that's okay. Endo was getting some minutes, and we changed the system a little bit. But Darwin gets a score today of... 8 out of 10. Let us know. Do you think that's a fair score? Would you have gone higher? Would you have gone lower? But either way, you love the man, right? Let's be honest. We all love the man. Moving on to this dude, young Harvey Elliott came off the bench and he did okay. I mean, I don't remember too much of an impact that Harvey had in the game when he came on. I think it was just Jurgen rotating the team, giving everyone a breather ahead of the game against Bournemouth in the League Cup midweek. So with that in mind, we're going to give Harvey Elliott a score of six. Not because we think he did anything wrong, but because the game was pretty much won at that point and we were in cruise control. This gentleman, great to have him back, Cody Gakpo, nearly got himself a goal at the end. Look, it was correctly ruled out for offside, but it is great to have him back. I, I still stand over what I say. Is there a better group of attackers in Europe at any one club to have Mohamed Salah, Cody Gakpo, Darwin Nunes, Diogo Jota and Lucio Diaz all at one football club? It feels pretty great to me. So with that in mind and a great performance from him coming off the bench, we're going to give him a score of seven. And I'm going to say this as well. I think he starts on Wednesday against Bournemouth and I think he scores. Moving on now to Watoro Endo, somebody who, again, will have got invaluable minutes today in that little 10-minute cameo at the end. Had a great performance midweek in the Europa League as well. And I hope that he's starting to settle into life in the Premier League with Liverpool. We certainly want him to do well. It's hard to give him a score when he was only on for 10 minutes, but we've done it and we've given him a 7. Let us know if you agree or if you disagree. Now it is time for the gaffer, and I don't know if I've ever done this before for Jürgen, but with everything that was happening today, with of course the very sad situation with Luis Diaz's family, and again we hope for a safe return of Luis Diaz's father, with the very emotional week that's been in it with football, obviously the Everton chairman, Bill Kenroy passing away, Sir Bobby Charlton passing away, um, for Jürgen, for the coaches, for the rest of the, the LFC team to get these guys mentally prepared and to go out and put on a performance, a clinical performance like that, I think we can't speak highly enough of Jürgen and his man management today. So I'm going to give him a perfect 10. Under those very trying circumstances, I'm so proud of Jürgen for what he was able to do with the boys today. And he gets the big 
perfect score from us 10 out of 10 let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree and that my friend is the end of our player ratings video if you're watching this in the evening on sunday we will be back live at half past eight tonight so I hope you can come and watch us. If you're watching this later on, we will hopefully see you tomorrow. Let us know if you agree with our selections. Do drop a like on the video. Most importantly, we'd love you to hit that subscribe button. We'll catch up with you soon. Much love. Bye-bye.